Hey, how guys doing? Um, before I get to the topic, I just want to talk a little bit about next month. Um, I believe it's around June time, June the 9th, I think. Uh, Apple's coming out with the Worldwide Developers Conference, which I'm particularly interested in because I've been waiting for the, um, the new modular Mac Pro desktop. Not that I'm going to get one myself, but I'm interested in a totally new architecture and things like that. So that's what I'm going to be hopefully talking about uh, when that comes out or other notable things. Okay, so as far as um, this topic, I know this has been about uh, anywhere from one to three weeks ago that uh, Apple just recently updated their... Uh, MacBook Pros and iMacs um, and notably I was kind of mostly interested in the um, MacBook Pros especially uh, the a core version which I'm going to kind of give uh, show you a screenshot of and uh, which is the uh, base frequency of uh, 2.4 gigahertz a core ninth generation Intel Core i9 processor with turbo boost up to Five gigahertz now once I found out this came out I was like oh boy I gotta look at this because it's probably I, I know this is probably Apple's most powerful uh, MacBook Pro yet of course in the future they'll probably come out with something more powerful eventually now of course this is what I think about um, laptops and all-in-one computers for instance um iMacs in general is um if i get a a uh, a laptop i never get one for to use for video editing or I, I just use it for mobile uh you know um watching videos um social networking web browser and that's it because um i um i always go to a desktop for something more powerful for mainly two reasons um because Laptops tend to use um, mobile graphic chips, um, which, in my opinion, they're not quite as powerful as a desktop version. And two, they tend to throttle a lot uh, if at 100% load over a, a extended period of time, and that that obviously reduces uh, performance. And that's usually due to design, because uh, those type of things that they're in small enclosed spaces. Uh, the ventilation fan may not be that great. Uh, all in, uh, one piece laptop or all in one uh, solutions. So they tend to overheat. So to combat high temperatures and burning up the CPU, it'll throttle down to keep it within uh, tolerances without burning up your CPU. Now, my opinion has changed because. First thing I thought was like, okay, that's great. It's going to be much more powerful, but what about throttling? Um, so I'm like, well, let me take a look and see if there's anybody that did any tests on throttling. And there was, there's a few, I think uh, two in particular, there might've been three or four, but uh, I don't think they applied necessarily in this case. And one, one where they actually um, took, I think those specs and they did 100% CPU load, more or less, across all the uh, as many threads as they could or cores. And it maintained 3 gigahertz throughout the entire time. And uh, I think they run this test multiple times. Um, so that is wonderful news because um, they definitely done something uh, that prevents throttling, making... A laptop a much more powerful thing for use for video editing and other high performance uh, uses visual effects uh, uh, motion graphics and so forth and so I see this as the perfect mobile unit if you want to take it out of the office go somewhere and, and do video editing or whatever and it still be powerful yet take it back home you can even plug an eGPU in at home through the Thunderbolt 3, plus you're gonna get a, a more powerful graphics card. So this may be actually the ultimate in, in uh, if you want a powerful Mac computer. Now, I'm kind of wondering if it's mainly due to the, the Intel i9 processor, 
and this may not just apply to Apple. This could be in a uh, regular PC from Dell or whatever that use the same chip. Um, maybe you can, uh, it's not prone to throttling either in those type of circumstances. Of course, it's really hard to gauge that um, because it, it goes down to design, um, CPU chip, um, thermals, uh, fan, and, and operating system and all that. So... And I think I've seen the same thing with the new um, uh, iMacs too. I was mentioned, I think a 2019 iMac was, it wasn't throttling as well. I'm not saying it's never gonna throttle or it's always gonna be on a 100% load through all the cores, of course. But I, I think that's great news for power users such as myself. I'm not saying I'm gonna be doing it on a laptop. I still pref prefer a desktop in most situations, but it's good to have options. And of course, my situation is different from everybody else's. So I definitely wanted you uh, to talk to you about that uh, on the new um, Mac Pros and iMacs from uh, 2019, just released by Apple. Uh, and uh, besides that, that's it. Uh, appreciate you guys watching and see you guys later.